what are we going to get into today? Well, today we are going to make kind of a strange moonshine to me, but it sounded intriguing. Okay, and it's actually, I've seen it on, there's a channel out there called JB Wagon Maker Easy Moonshine Recipes. I've seen this recipe and I said, I got to try that. And it is called Leftover Pizza Moonshine. All right, that, that sounds, sounds delicious, don't we? All right. So, but first things first, welcome to Stores and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, this is gonna be a fast video. Uh, it, it's it's uh, very easy to make. All right, and I like always, I'll put the, as long as I remember, put the ingredients down there into the uh, description box. All right, what do we gotta do to make it? Well. I got some here, shine here, I diluted it down to uh, 50 proof, okay? I just thought that would be a little bit better. All right, I wanted to be able to taste what we're putting into it. All right, so how do we do this? All right, this is simple. It's just a simple infusion. So we're gonna take our moonshine. All right, first things first, I have an ounce of pizza sauce. It's just uh, your, your regular pizza sauce. So we're gonna put that in there. Kinda looks a little gross. That's all right. All right, so we got our pizza sauce in there. One ounce. I still think you, you could probably go a little heavier on that if you wanted to. All right, and the next thing we're gonna put in there. Okay. So, so within that pizza sauce, I did put one teaspoon of lemon juice. All right, now for the dry ingredients. All right, so in here I have one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried basil, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, that's all your pizza spices, but you know, you gotta have cheese on pizza, right? So, I need one teaspoon of a cheddar cheese white powder. All right. Now, so that's all the dry ingredients. And all we gotta do, we'll put them in that shine. All right, we're almost done. Okay, put a lid on it. Give it a little shake. That might taste pretty good. Okay, so what we want to do is we just want to let that infuse for three to five days. Get all that flavors all mingling together and then we'll give it a try. Yeah, just give it a shake every once in a while. That's going to be good. All right. So that's our start of leftover pizza moonshine. I did have a friend, he made a pizza beer one time. And it's, it's very similar to this. It turned out pretty tasty. All right, so we'll be back in three to five days. Okay, welcome back to Still Works and Brewing. Uh, we're going to finish up this pizza moonshine. I mean, it don't look bad. We're going to let's finish it up. All right. So what we got to do is we got to strain out some of the the stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is use this screen just to get the big hunks out first. Uh, it has been four days okay all right so let's do the I'm just trying to screen the big stuff out first I mean it don't look gross kind of wild and crazy though ain't it huh 
I'm just wondering if uh, that this uh, this might be just enough just to strain it out this way. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of flavor in there. Alright, let's let that drain and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished draining all the junk out of that. And I only used the uh, metal screen. I thought the little bit, I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it was going to make it taste pretty good. Sure. I brought Laura to uh, help us with this sampling. Because it's a little uh, on a different side. <laughs> so... And you know, Lord, she'll give you a, an honest answer. And we're going to see if this tastes like pizza. Okay. All right. You ready? I don't know what it's ready smells. or not? Okay. It's, it smells like pizza. It's, it does. <laughs> it yeah. does smell like pizza. It smells just like pizza. Mm -hmm. All right, now the scary part. Let's go. And it tastes like pizza. It does taste like pizza. Just a little strange. <laughs> what? Because it's liquid. It's a little bit on. I'm glad I, I. I'm glad I cut the ABV down. I cut it down to 50 proof. Oh, okay. I'm glad I did that. I think I would cut. And this is just my opinion. I'd cut back on the oregano a little bit. Yes. And I think that's the only thing I'd do is cut back on the oregano a little bit. But the t I, I taste the pizza sauce. You taste the pizza sauce, you taste the oregano. You can get a little bit of a hint of like the cheesiness because it, you can feel it in the liquid when you drink it. And not as a, um, like, ooh, what is that? It's like, mm, you know what, that it's there. It tastes like pizza. It tastes pizza. like pizza, yep. All right, guys, there's one for you. <laughs> you almost have to try it if you like pizza. Sure. Hey. But, yeah, cut back on the oregano a little bit, in my opinion. Yes. But besides that, the only thing I think it needs to be is cold. Cold, yes. Hey, who don't like cold pizza? I do. I'd prefer it warm, but, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, that is our leftover pizza moonshine. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I guess the last thing we got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on Moonshine Wednesday. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.